So in the last lecture, we have modified the Gauss law for a dielectrics uh, in terms of uh, differentiation, differential form, and also we have seen in a integral form that is the differential form of a Gauss law is uh, uh, as del dot d bar is equal to rho f, and when we integral uh, on the both the sides of this equation. Then the integral form of Gauss law is given by the closed surface integral of d dot d bar dot n cap d a is equal to q f. This is the integral form of a Gauss law. After that, we have uh, seen the formula of a susceptibility, permittivity, and the dielectric constant. Means you are p bar and uh, d bar they are directly proportional to the e and from that we uh, derive the last equation that is d bar is equal to epsilon into e bar okay and also we have derived uh, one equation that is epsilon is equal to epsilon 0 into epsilon r where epsilon r is the relative permittivity of that uh, medium and uh, chi e is the susceptibility of the medium here epsilon r are the it is a dimension dimensionless quantity and k is the dielectric constant okay when k and epsilon are one in free in free space at that time you are chi e it is the permittivity uh, susceptibility for that medium is zero in continuation with this uh, earlier two points we continuous with this energy in a dielectric system so here consider a parallel plate con uh, condenser of capacitance c with a potential difference v maintained between these two plates and this uh, capacitor is completely filled with a dielectric medium okay whose permittivity is epsilon let the plates of this condenser initially carries a free charge q with free charge density rho now let a small amount of additional we can uh, free charges delta q be placed on this condenser whereby this charge density increases by this factor rho f this additional work done is in loading the extra free charge on this condenser is given by which so we can write this additional work done is equal to num that charges additionally charges multiply by phi and uh, this q is nothing but rho f into dv so our work done is equal to total integral of this free charges into VDV. Now from Gauss law, here we can apply a Gauss law to this equation. Rho f is equal to del dot d bar we know the Gauss law is equal to this displacement vector now is equal to this earlier equation becomes as del dot d bar into v dv so 
del dot of this additional charges into V is equal to V into del dot of this term plus additional dis displacement vector multiply by del dot V and we know that uh, del dot P is nothing but electric field E bar so we can write V delta dot additional displacement vector is equal to del bar dot of V into this additional displacement vector plus additional of displacement vector multiply by E bar W is equal to integral of del dot V into additional of this displacement vector into dv plus into this so we have consider the first term applying gauss divergence theorem here so volume to surface integral conversion so v into Additional of this displacement vector into n cap dA plus integral of this additional displacement vector into E bar dV. Now here apply in a, a Gauss divergence theorem. Now Now, for closed surface integral for all space, V del uh, additional or displacement vector into n cap into dA is equal to 0, means this term is equal to 0 when we consider the or closed for all space therefore the equation remaining for all space is equal to only second term that is yeah now here we have considered for a linear homogeneous and isotropic dielectric when we consider a dielectric material is a linear which is homogeneous and isotropic then we know the equation that d bar is equal to epsilon into e bar yeah and we can write the here one half into d bar dot e bar is equal to now this equation is written as this one half epsilon into additional of these charges d bar is nothing but epsilon e and it is multiplied by that 
e so it becomes e square is equal to one half epsilon into two e into this additional of energy e so it nothing but it is the epsilon additional of this displacement vector when we alter this term there is no effect on their any sign okay now the work done is equal to we can write one half Additional of this d bar dot e bar into e bar d v. So work done is equal to one half additional of this integral term of d bar dot e bar into dv so here there is a total work done is equal to one half of integral of this d bar into e bar into dv this work done is stored as the energy of the system work done is stored as the energy of the system the equation above this equation is valid only for a linear homogeneous equ uh, dielectrics that equation we are using d is equal to epsilon e which is only for this linear dielectrics okay so we can obtain the energy in this equation for uh, electrostatic energy density electrostatic energy density means energy per unit volume in a linear dielectric as is equal to one half d into epsilon or we can write it as a epsilon into epsilon e square so this is the energy stored for the dielectric system